Hi, we are Steven, Travis, Beverly, and Rosalinda, and today we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about the Bill of Rights. The first minute is talking about the five freedoms: freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, and freedom of petition. Freedom of religion means you can you can have any type of culture and religion. Freedom of speech means you can have you can express yourself to anybody. Freedom of press means you have the right to publish newspapers, magazines, or other printed paper without the government restraining it. Freedom of assembly means to gather peacefully. Freedom of petition means to express, use, or ask for change. The Second Amendment says that we have the right to have a weapon with you or in your house without the government causing problems. The Fourth Amendment means to protect people's homes from being searched or having their things taken away. If the government wishes to do so, they have they must have a very good reason and permission from a judge. The Fifth Amendment says that no one can go to trial without the government having enough proof or evidence, except when it's someone from the military. They can go to trial without the jury saying it's necessary. It is also it also says that if someone is out to trial and the trial ends, they cannot go to the same trial again. Also, if a person is guilty for a crime and does their time in jail, they cannot put us on a second trial. The government does not have doesn't have the power to force you to testify against yourself. That is why the trial uses proof and witnesses. The government cannot take someone's life, property, or freedom without going throughout the steps that give the person a chance. The government cannot take someone's property without paying them back. The Sixth Amendment states that the person being accused has a right to a fast and public trial. The juries cannot be biased of the person being accused or the specific crime itself. The trial must be held where it, it, it was committed. The accused person has a right to know what he or she is being charged with and why they are being taken why are they being taken to jail. He or she also has a right to know who is accusing them and the right to ask questions. The person has the right to invite anybody who they think can help them. The court can force the person to come by summoning them. The accused person has a right to a lawyer. If they cannot get one, the court can provide one for them. The Eighth Amendment means that the court cannot put an unreasonable amount of money for the bill. It also says the punishment cannot be cruel or unusual. Thanks for watching.